Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to talk about Masters of the Universe uh, Revelation slash Revolution, which is the uh, sequel. Apparently, Teela is getting replaced. Uh, Sarah Michelle Gellar is not going to return as Teela. Instead, the Supergirl actress, is it Melissa Benoist? Is it Benoist? Uh -oh. Benoist? Uh, is going to be playing Teela in the sequel. But what we're going to talk about beyond that is just kind of the state of the franchise right now. Uh, Masters of the Universe does not seem to be in a very good place. No. And it, you know, this show is actually being pushed back to 2024. I think it was originally supposed to come out in 2023. I don't know. The announcement came out last year. And then it was after Mark Hamill had posted that he was doing voices for the voice for Skeletor last year. And I, that's the first thing I thought of when they said that, that she was doing Tila now is, wait, they were recording this last year. So what happened? Because wouldn't she have been recording her lines too? I, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it's I mean, we'll never know the truth because we know that the people behind the show are not entirely truthful. No, here's how you find out the truth. Yeah, a bunch of people go out there and post stuff that, you know, that are speculation, rumor, and whichever one Kevin Smith has a shit fit about, you know that's the truth. That's how you know what the truth is. Yeah, so, I mean, we're never going to really know uh, what's going on, but it could be that maybe there was some behind the scenes, you know, uh, tinkering with the show. They're like, hey, this needs to be better than the last one. Uh, and then by that time, I know uh, Sarah Michelle Geller has another show she's working maybe on. Maybe this girl's been in there for a while, but they just now announced it. That could know. be true. That could be true too. Um, the other the other thing that we're going to talk about a little bit is kind of the state of the line in general. The toy line, uh, the CGI show, I think has been canceled as well because I saw some production art floating around that they were going to send them to Earth or something um, in the next season. That apparently is not going to happen. And there's been a lot of talk about the toy line being canceled or at least being canceled from like Walmart and Target mm -hmm. and then Mattel just selling the figures directly to consumer like they did with Maddie Collector. Right. So it seems like He-Man's in trouble. The franchise is in trouble. And I can't imagine why when they had so much great media, you know, so so many uh, well-received um, well He-Man shows over the last couple yeah. of years, why that would be the case. But let's talk about it. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, over 297, almost 300,000. We're getting there. Come on, guys. Hit the subscribe button. We want to get there. Uh, thank you very much. And yeah, those of you who have been with the channel for a long time know that we talk a lot about He-Man and She-Ra being fans ourselves of He-Man and She-Ra. It's kind of how we really, I mean, that in comics, She-Ra and comics were kind of our things we started off with. Yeah, yeah, and it's been a, a pretty rough ride for those of us who have been fans of these classic franchises. <laughs> We've watched what... But not in a fun way. Not in a fun way. It's been a rough ride, yes, yes, without lube. Um, <laughs> as we've kind of watched their uh, corporate uh, corporate owners just kind of hand the reins over to people that, frankly, don't give a crap about the franchises at all. In the case of Shira, it was a completely different show with a, a coat of Shira paint on it. Right. In the case of uh, Masters of the Universe Revel uh, Revelation, rather, uh, you know, Kevin Smith admitted he was not a fan of He-Man until money was involved. Oh, no, no. Then, then he, he changed was. the story. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I used to watch it when I came home from school when it wasn't on. When I was like 18 years old and it was on. Like, yeah. <laughs> I was like, dude like, should have stopped talking. All right. Um, so, yeah, let's talk about Tila getting recast. Uh, so maybe, I don't know, maybe maybe the role wasn't big enough. Maybe they greatly reduced her role in Sarah Michelle Gellar. Well, hopefully this chick is better because Sarah Michelle Gellar sucked as Tila. I'm sorry. She did. That's all if I heard I wanted, was Buffy. Yeah, that's yeah. right. If I wanted to hear like, oh, my God, teenager cheerleader, I would have gone to watch Buffy. I wouldn't have watched Tila. Uh, pretty much. But she's got a show now that's, I think it's like Buffy with werewolves instead. Yeah, I but now I, she's not the teenager. No, she's like, she's the master now. Yeah. Is, she's the master of the universe. All right. So this is coming from Superhero Hype, where they hype superhero shows. Uh, and master, apparently these shows too. And these shows too. Masters of the Universe Revolution premiered on Netflix. Our premieres on Netflix next year. Tila is going to have a new voice. Deadline reports that former Supergirl star Melissa Benoist. I think it's Benoist. I'm probably missing. I don't know. I don't watch M Supergirl. MB. I watch I, MB. 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 Uh, we'll take over the role from Sarah Michelle Gellar, who previously played the character in Revelation. Or I wonder if she just got tired of the backlash. Like, I don't want to be associated. Well, she with also this. told everybody that, you know, oh my God, like, get over it because Tila's always been important, which wasn't the argument at all. Kevin Smith kept making that argument and everything else. No one was arguing that. Everybody knew if you were a fan of the original show, you would know. Tila was in every episode. Tila was always important. If you yes. saw the, 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 the early 2000s, 
you know, reimagining. Tila was always important. No one thought Tila wasn't important in the show. They just didn't think that it should be the Tila show. Kevin Smith would have known this if he had actually been a fan of the show. But, you know, that's a whole other discussion. Maybe right? when he was crying, he just couldn't see through the tears to read that part. There we go. Revel uh, Revelation proved to be somewhat divisive among Masters of the Universe fans because He-Man died early in the series and Tila essentially became the main character. That's a lie. That was Clownfish TV. And they lied. Uh -huh. Except we didn't. Except we didn't. He-Man Prince Adam eventually returned, but Tila remained the co-lead throughout the series. Tila even became the new sorceress. Uh, oh, spoilers. Oh, yeah, like, that's a surprise. She was always meant to be. She should have had snake armor. That's all I'm saying. That's all yeah, I'm saying. they should have done that. Oh, okay. Okay. I didn't catch this. I didn't know this. Adam and his alter ego, He-Man, are, are both uh, voiced by Chris Wood, Benoit's husband, and her former co-star on Supergirl. Oh. A little bit of nepotism going on there. So yeah, that well, makes... maybe, maybe they'll have better chemistry. Maybe it will. Unless I mean, they don't like each other, then it won't. Like I mean, a, I was, that might work to their benefit, actually. Mark Hamill will reprise his role as Skeletor. Kevin Smith remains attached to the follow-up series as a showrunner. Yeah, I watched, like, three episodes of Supergirl. But what was, was weird, like, eh. what was weird to me, I watched more than that, I, I still no doubt. Um, yeah, like, we had we had uh, Mark Hamill last year, last April, talk about recording lines. And it was supposed to come out in the second half of, t of this year, 2023. Mm -hmm. Well, now they're saying 2024 and they have a new voice actress as Tila. So I don't know if it's a matter of she's been there a while and they just announced it or what, but, or they had to re redo a whole bunch of it and re-record it. Because if you're recording it last year, um, you know, to come out this year, it's weird that now, now it's coming out in 2024. Yeah, I mean, look, normally for a, a show or a movie, they record lines well in advance, but it doesn't seem like there's that much of a uh, a gap between recording and, and the finished product. I mean, the first season, I have, I, again, speculation, I do not know, but I have to wonder if there weren't potentially problems or if it wasn't a case of like they're supposedly doing with Picard now where they're listening to feedback and being like, yeah, let's course correct this. It's just this is weird because they had they had replaced Geller then. Yes. When they made the announcement of the show, you think they'd mentioned, oh, and now Tila's gonna be played by this actress. But they didn't. They wait until months later, and then they're like, Oh yeah, by the way, you know, I mean, you would think if they replaced Geller last year, they would have said last year they were replacing her you know what i mean that this woman would be announced when they announced the show it's just weird they're announcing it now so it makes you kind of think something was changed later on um if they already had it recorded you wouldn't need to change color I, I don't know it's just weird yeah there's a lot of there's a lot of weirdness around uh masters of the universe as a brand like in general it seems like uh there's been a lot of discussion about whether or not the toy line is is being canceled or you know again being pulled back you know, there's been a lot of discussion. I know, uh, I think it's Spectre Creative, the guy who used to work on the, uh, you know, He-Man line for Mattel, has said he has it on pretty good authority that uh, after the wave of figures that are coming out now, uh, come out, that's that's pretty much it. At least for retail, they might do, you know, special edition figures, kind of like they do with with uh, Monster High. But, like, I'm seeing all kinds of He-Man figures at Ollie's. You know, they're getting cleared out. Uh, they're well, old ones, though. They are, but they're they're not. They didn't sell. That's the problem. That the old stuff didn't sell, so a lot of stores aren't getting the new figures in. If you want the new figures, you have to order them. And even those orders, I can tell you, Entertainment Earth, we've been getting our orders canceled. It's true. We keep having them canceled right and left. So I think there's a bigger issue going on here with just the entire line. Like it's not just specific to this show. But I think that there's definitely something going on. Mattel's trying to figure out probably what to do with Masters of the Universe at this point. And there are all those rumors about, like, uh, you know, losing the copyright and the Universal stuff. And I, I don't know about that in particular. But I do think it's weird that it seems like this show has been pushed back and it seems like it might have been reworked. And then that's also coinciding with figures apparently. Right getting gone too, you know, and the CGI show, as far as I know, has also been canceled or quietly canceled. So I don't know what's going on. But something's going on. Something's I mean, up. like I said, we don't know. She could have been there the whole time, but why wait till now? I mean, they announced this show back in June of 2022. Mm -hmm. And that's about the same time that Mark Hamill or a couple months after Mark Hamill said he was recording Skeletor. Right. And now we're talking 2024. It's a little weird. Um, you know, and again, I know there is a delay. 
between voice acting and and you know locking that down and the actual animation. But I this feels to me like there is some behind the scenes tinkering going on. I wouldn't get too much into that if it was just early 2024, but if it turned out to be like it ends up like being November late in 2024, yeah. then I would definitely say something happened. But if it's like, you know, early 2024, okay, well yeah, that's still within the window, I think you'd be okay. Um but if they push it past that, then I I question it. Yeah. Um, I, again, you know, I have to, I have to kind of wonder on some level again, I, I have no inside info. Trust me. Our insiders aren't coming to us anymore about this show after what happened last time. Well, they, that's because they aren't getting the inside information either. They're, they're not getting it either. They, they've locked this, this shit down. Right. Um, but I have to wonder if they're not going to attempt to pull up a card and kind of, tweak the show to make it more in line with fan expectations because the next season is supposed to be Hordak. Now, whether or not we get She-Ra in that is anybody's guess. Well, I think it's up to the fact that they might not have the license to do it and stuff like that. Yeah, people... Okay, so the rights to He-Man and She-Ra are, are split, weirdly. It's like we've got... He-Man is with Mattel now. She-Ra is with uh, NBC Universal. But they share Hordak. It's kind of like the Avengers with like Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch. They kind of share it's those divorce, characters. But you, it's the one you get the kids certain times. Right. Somebody gets Hordak on weekends, you know. Um, so I think that's kind of how it's working because they, they teased Hordak in in uh, the CGI series, too. And apparently right. that's I haven't heard happen. anything about I haven't heard anything about the She-Ra live action show either. I keep looking into it. Nothing. I think that one Crickets. quietly got canceled. Because uh, if those was, don't know, there was going to be a live action She-Ra at Amazon. And I can't find it. Like, they have a couple of that they hired different people. Nothing since then. Like, there's nothing on the show. Yeah. And what happened in the movie? Weren't they going to do a movie, too? And that just kind of disappeared, too. Was it a movie or show? I don't know. Live do, action something. They were going to do... Well, no. They were going to do the She-Ra live action show on Amazon, supposedly. And then they were going to do a live action He-Man movie. Oh, yes. Yeah, so that kind of... They, they changed casting out. And they, then you don't hear anything about that either. No. And that's yeah. that's been like three or four attempts now to to like reboot He-Man in live action. And it's, just, it's not happening. And I think at this point especially with a streaming service. It's like, this would be too damn expensive to do the right way. So they're just not going to do it at all. I, mm -hmm. I don't know, but it feels like overall the line might be in trouble, which means it'll probably just go back to being like a collector's only thing for several years until they try to re, 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 reboot it. Or we could just say, hey, He-Man was great in the 1980s and the early 2000s and leave it at that. Yeah, they could, but they won't. They won't, because uh, money. All right, we're going to wrap this one up. Yep. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.